it's Lacey and welcome back to our space so today I have a haul from you guys like it says it is home goods my favorite store of all time of course you guys know home goods and if you're new to my channel I love that store I would live in there if they would let me a TJ Maxx and one thing from Tuesday morning if you followed us on Instagram you will have already seen that item because I posted a picture of it if not it is Lacey space the same way that it's spelled here so you need to be following us on Instagram because sometimes I get you sneak peeks and deals because it is a deal and I know they still have it because I went there yesterday and I went to a different store than what I bought mine at and they had them there so let's just jump right into this quickly so we can get through it First thing was TJ Maxx, and the first thing I ended up finding was this cute little L. It is gold. Um, it was on clearance at TJ Maxx, and it was regularly $7.99. I don't know if you can see that. But then they clearanced it out for $4.50. And I don't have, like, a initial for my beauty room yet and I thought this one was really cute it's gold it's sparkly I loved it so I went ahead and picked that up they had a lot of monogram um, symbols on clearance there they had wood ones they had a marble one that was broken on the corner that had marble and like gold going through it and I almost ended up picking up that but it was broken and they had a lot of S's and a lot of K's I don't know why at my um, home goods but they've clearanced out a lot I mean out of my TJ Maxx they've clearanced out a lot of stuff lately in our area next thing that I ended up picking up this one is from home goods was one of the Eiffel Tower figurines and this is the um, fragrance satchel and the fragrance on this one is a French lavender I am NOT allergic to lavender I love lavender I have lavender planted in my yard and so this one was really cute and I mixed my metals so this is also going in my beauty room it has a Parisian theme and this was a four dollars was three ninety nine um then the next thing I ended up picking up this one came from TJ Maxx and it was it is this Parisian sign. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it says Paris. And then it's got a little Eiffel Tower here. And it's like a little shelf sitter thing. Um, stand. Uh, it's so cute. They had them in a gold and in silver at one point. I've seen people haul them in gold. I couldn't find the gold one. I really kind of wanted the gold one, but I settled for the silver one. It's really, really pretty. And this one was a $7.99. Next thing I ended up getting was uh, this pot um it is just a planter pot but i really liked it i like the brown tones of it i have espresso outside for my um furniture and stuff and i'm going to be making this into a diy coming up really here shortly and so make sure if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button so you can check it out because it's going to be really cool i'll just give you a hint some more so if you want to see what i do with that that involves some more stick around then next I ended up at TJ Maxx I picked these up quite a while ago so I'm not sure I know I still see that they have some of these but I don't think they have the really cool one and I'm sorry about that because it took me so long to haul these but these are makeup brushes I ended up getting this one was $3.99 and it is the foundation brush and uh, around it is kind of like a muted kind of silvery color and then I picked up this one and this is the powder brush and that has like a rose gold around it and then this is the one that I fell in love with I was with my sister and she actually spotted it first she got one I got one and it is this extra extra large XXL kabuki brush look at the shape of that and it is in a gold I just I love this and it was $4.99 and the powder brush was $3.99 so really super cheap and these are by Mac Studio so I don't know the quality of them yet I know I did open one of these in the store uh, which one this one in the store and it's really really soft so um, I'll let you know how they work out but I know they still have the Mac Studio brushes there it's just I haven't seen the Kabuki brush which is the one these are so super duper soft so I think it's gonna work out perfectly as long as they don't fall apart but I'll let you guys know then next I ended up picking up this 
This is a plant stand, and I actually got this to do on a DIY, but now I think I'm going to do the DIY a little bit differently. I'm not sure. I have a DIY. It's coming up tomorrow, as a matter of fact, Lee. So, yeah. Uh, I think I might be doing it a little bit differently, but I'm not sure. I might use this in a different spot. I liked it. It had little hearts. I don't know if you can see. Chad and I think they're hearts. We have a lot of double hearts and just single hearts, period. We don't, we don't care. <laughs> we love hearts. And over by my um, my gazebo in the yard, we have plant stands that are hard. So I might just use it over there instead of for the DIY. So then next, I ended up picking up uh, this uh, ice scoop. And it's from this company called the Outdoor Collection. It's $7.99 at Home Goods, And it is a flamingo. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to get any more flamingos. But yeah, I got more flamingos. So I ended up picking this up. I thought it was really, really cute. I don't have a nice ice scoop for like um, our ice buckets and stuff like that. I have some tongs and stuff, but not like super cute ice scoops. So I picked this one up. Then the next thing I ended up getting were for outdoors too. I think a lot of this stuff now that I'm showing you is all for outdoors because it's so nice out. It is at 96 degrees right now here in Michigan. I'm in heaven and kind of not you know because it's so hot it's burning hot and the sun is out so we we'll like to be in air conditioning but it's not cold it's not rainy it's not windy and thank goodness there's no snow so anyway these are some wooden coasters these are like tree bark coasters they're really nice um they're by a company called what is this uh meritage so um these are really a good buy because they were only $7.99 and I've been seeing these everywhere and they were like $9.99 and up. I mean I actually saw a set that weren't even as nice as these and they wanted $14.99 for them and I was like uh no. So I, I wanted some for outdoors and these will work perfectly. I, I might DIY them because I saw a really cute project where they actually painted the bark on them and stuff so I might I'm not sure. I would like to like monogram them but I'm not going to do that yet. So then the next thing I picked up was so cute. They had a smaller version of it. My sister bought the smaller version. It's like, like cut this part off and it was so tiny. But I ended up getting this one. They had one in a case too that was really cute that I almost bought. But it was only $7.99 and it's just a little miniature tic-tac-toe set. I could make an outdoor tic-tac-toe set. I made one in the past before, but I thought this one was adorable. And I thought it's so tiny. My the one I made before was bigger. And for $7.99 plus I had free um like points. And so I had free cash. So I went ahead and got this one. <laughs> I know. I probably should have made it because it's easy. But whatever. I thought it was adorable. Then next I ended up picking up these. And I right, hope you can see them. They are just wine glasses with little silver etched in. They're kind of distressed. They got a little black on them. Flamingos. I am obsessed, I think, with flamingos. And um, I think they're so cute. They're not pink. I have pink flamingo glasses, and I have some with little white flamingos on them. But these are adorable. They were $3.99 a piece. They had them in flamingos, and you know, the other rage is pineapples. I got these at Home Goods. And then me and my sister were looking for the pineapple ones for her. She was so sad they didn't have any. We went to TJ Maxx on another day and I found her pineapple ones. So she'll probably be hauling them. So catch, check those out on her channel. I couldn't even believe the flamingo ones. Only $3.99 too. I mean, normally they have glasses like that for $3.99 all the time. So then the next thing I ended up getting was this. This was such a steal. Look how big this is. Look, it's twice the size of my head. And it is a bowl, as you can see. It is gorgeous. It's all gold, which I love the design of it. It's got flecks of gold down in here. Um, it's, it's smooth, and then the underside is all the textured. I bought this to definitely do a DIY. That DIY is going to be part, it's going to be part of the DIY coming up tomorrow. Um, it was regularly, it says compare at $29.99. It was regularly, I think, $19.99. And then they marked it down to 
seven dollars and then to I don't know if you can see it. It was I couldn't even believe it was still there. I don't know if it's gonna focus. It's three dollars and fifty cents, people. Three dollars and fifty cents. I, I walked up because I thought, oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> and then I knew she was gonna say, oh no, that can't be three dollars and fifty cents. And I was like, yeah. I brought this sucker home and I am definitely making a DIY out of this. It is gorgeous. I love it. So the next thing I ended up picking up is this. Look, I can't even get it all in the frame. It won't all fit in the frame. Can you see it? I posted a picture of it on Instagram when I got it and I was like, who wants a margarita? It is a margarita and slushy maker. So if, even if you don't do alcoholic drinks, it makes slushies and smoothies. Like, well, smoothies? Yeah, you make smoothies with it too. It's one of the ones where the ice is shaved up in the top into the drink and then it's blended in and it makes it into a slushy mixture like they have at the restaurants for where you get daiquiris and stuff and they give you recipes for daiquiris in here and for margaritas and for slushies or smoothies or whatever and i don't even know can you see how much this cost Chad wanted to get the Margaritaville uh, Margarita Maker, which is $199. And he was like, or oh, we can get the one that has the three compartments, which is like $399. And I'm like, uh, no, not right now. <laughs> we don't need that. Well, I saw this for $59.99. Yes, I had to have it. My sister got one too. We were together Tuesday morning. Went to a different Tuesday morning. They had them again. They have them with the yellow at the top. They have them with green. I was looking for one with red. This one's orange. I had to settle for orange. They didn't have red. But um, yeah, I'm in love with this thing. I cannot wait to be serving margaritas. I am not going to lie to you guys. This box is empty. <laughs> we have used it already. It is Fabulous. We love it. We had margaritas the other day. And if you go to the dollar store and buy the margarita glasses that have the water in that you freeze, oh, we have those. We got ours like three years ago. We love them. Now, the last thing that I got, I have to move the camera to show you because it won't fit in frame. And it's my favorite item that I've bought in a long time. So hold on. All right, love. So here is the last item on our haul. And as you can see, it is a very tall pink flamingo. I got him at Home Goods and I love him. Chad's friend Todd actually named him Francis. And so this is Francis and he normally hangs out on our front porch right now. Eventually I will be moving him into the backyard because I am going to be doing an outdoor bar cart and I'm pretty sure he'll be hanging out by that bar cart. Looky here, he's hanging out at this bar cart. He must have a thing for bar carts or alcohol. I'm not sure, but I love him either way. There were two of them there. My sister and I were shopping when I found him and another lady was kind of hogging him. So I decided, hmm, I'm only gonna be able to get the one, but I am so happy that I waited to get this one. I told Chad, I wanted to fill our yard up with a pink flamingos, but he suggested I only get a couple and to wait until I find one that I love and I do love him. So that's it, that's the end to our haul. Um, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, for sharing, and please hit the subscribe button if you wanna keep up with my antics because who knows what I'm gonna bring home next. Plus I have a few DIYs, a couple of challenge videos, and a whole lot more going on here on the channel. You can also follow us over on Instagram. Chad and I both, it is Lacey Space, the same way that it is spelled here. And that's it, I will catch you in my next video. Bye loves.